Hi, good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, yes teacher. Hi, teacher. Okay. Hi, good, good evening, evening, everyone. Uh, okay, guys, we're going to start uh, with the class that corresponds for a uh, tonight class. So, if you remember, yesterday we were discussing just general things about how the course is going to be developed. So, uh, tonight we're going to start working on some exercises because I, I always like to share with you uh, exercises and also activities so in a way you can practice uh, your English skills. Okay, so in this case, we're going to practice uh, using. Um, a link. So there we're going to find an activity that is related to how to construct sentences using simple present tense. Okay, that's going to be like, like the aim of this game because it's a game, it's an activity. Um, let me just share to you my screen. I can now share my, my, my full screen because, you know, um, there are some uh, politics that uh, we need to uh, take care. So in this case, we have uh, something that's called copyright. So it's not possible to share uh, the whole information. So share a uh, third party, uh, third party uh, information just because for the copyright. Okay. So let's start. Uh, let me just share this screen here. I mean, this link and also the screen. Just one moment, please. Uh, the place that we're going to be working, um, it's called Games to Learn English. Okay, there you're going to find a lot of things and different models for uh, different purposes. For now, we're going just to look for the ones that it says simple present tense or just simple present, okay? Okay, there you have this. Uh, just check the, the Zoom chat. Check it out there. You receive the link? Do you have the link? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. So click on the link and you're going to see the this um, web page. Let me show it to you. Okay, this one. I'm gonna close this and also this one too. Okay, uh, look, uh, this is a web page. Um, there you have um, different models. The, the, the web page is called Games to Learn English. So you can write it or type it down there um, in games to learn English.com. So in that way, you're gonna go to through to um, this web page. Okay, so. Uh, what we're going to do is look for the ones that it says simple present, okay? So click on simple present. There are some others that we're going to be working on later, but now we're going to work on simple present, okay? Let's click on it. In there, we are going to find a following, um, the following uh, game. In just one moment. Let me just share how my screen gets. No one's gonna be better. Okay, look at this. There you have. Um, once you click on start, you're gonna see different rounds. Well, there are six rounds for each one. Uh, this is for practicing vocabulary and also practicing vocabulary related to verbs. Okay. So you have to match the picture that you are seeing in the screen with the word that you're gonna see below, okay? Uh, for instance, um, this one, I wanna take this. What is she doing? Okay, what is she doing? Probably washing uh, her face, right? So we wanna click, wanna relate our picture with the word wash. We're going to listen also the pronunciation of that word if it is the correct one, okay? Click on it. So once you finish, at the end, you have to take a screenshot, okay? Take a screenshot 
and send that screenshot to the WhatsApp group with the result, with the score that you receive at the end. Take a screenshot at the end, okay, and send it to the WhatsApp group. Is it clear, the instructions? Is everything clear? Guys? Yes, is sir, everything is clear. clear. Everything is clear. Okay, good. So working it right now. You are going to have 10 minutes to complete this activity, okay? 10 minutes. We're going to have a timer too. Um, let me just look for one. Wanna check a timer. And let me stop sharing because I'm going to look for time. Do you have a time or two? This is a stopwatch. Um, Mirna, you say that you're not listening anything. So it's because we're working on an activity. Uh, we are working on, on the activity that I share here in, in the, the WhatsApp group. Let me just share the link again, okay? Okay. 
this is the link. We are working on an exercise there. Somebody, Aberda. Yes, six rounds. We have six rounds. Okay, one of you already finished. What about the others? We have one minute with uh, 40, 40 seconds right now, 39, 38. So 
What you doing? Teacher. Tell me. Uh, yeah, finish. You finish? Please yeah. take, an, take an, a screenshot or a, a photo, doesn't matter, a screenshot or photograph, um, and send it to the group that we have on WhatsApp. Okay? Okay. Less than a minute. Okay, time is over. Okay, time is over. Okay, good. So time is over. Uh, guys, do you finish? Do you finish? Did it all finish? Uh, no, teacher. No, not yet. No, no. Okay, okay. Try to. How, how many time? Uh, I guess. Yeah. Well, I don't know. How many time do you need? I guess uh, two minutes. Is okay for you? I on the sixth round. Oh, you are about to finish. Okay, probably less. Then a minute to finish. Good, I'm checking the score here. Some of you got 3,900. I, I finish. Okay. I, I send the screenshot uh, at the to chat. Up. To yeah. up. okay, good, excellent. Okay, we're, we're just waiting for the rest. Let, let's see if, if the rest can finish this activity. Yes, uh, I got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just eight responses to this activity. Uh, and we are 20. So that's mean that's more than a half. I uh, haven't finished yet. When I give you um, one more minute, and then we're going to move on to the topics that we have to um, work tonight, okay? So, one more minute.
Okay, guys, uh, time is over. So let's start with a class that corresponds for tonight's class. Um, guys, um, if you see in the portal, let me just share my screen here. Okay, if you see in the portal, uh, in the platform there, you're gonna check that we're going to um, discuss the simple present statement, so sometimes called simple present tense. Okay, I, I guess this is a, probably a topic that you have been working on before, uh, probably. Um, but we're going to review um, all the information regarding to the to the use of simple present statements. Okay, because uh, we need to, um, first to identify how does it work. You have been working on some exercises. You have been working with some verbs and also. A forming and creating sentences with that activity. So let's start working with that and the information that you have um, gathered from that activity, okay? So I'm going to share my, my, my whiteboard because I, I like to be like sharing all things at the same time that I'm explaining. Uh, the topic for tonight's class is, you know, simple present tense, okay? Let's, let's type it down here, simple. Present tense or simple present statement. It doesn't matter the way you call it. Okay. Um, okay. Let's start. Simple present tense. What does it mean? Uh, when we're talking about tenses, we are referring to sentences. Sentences that we create in um, in where we identified the specific tense or uh, the moment that we are. Uh, saying th something or providing information. So we are talking about three different tenses. Um, uh, present, that is the ones that we're going to discuss tonight. Past, that is the ones that we're going to uh, discuss in future uh, courses or probably here in, uh, um, in the middle of, of development of this course. And also, uh, simple future, okay? Th those are three tenses, the, the most common ones that we use for expressing ideas in, in, in English and even in Spanish, right? So um, simple present tense has two different ways uh, that we have to review. The first one is a simple present tense, simple present tense with verbs. Okay, this is the first one. The second one is simple present tense with verb to be. Wanna do it this way? Verb to be. Two different forms of expressing ideas. Uh, because I'm doing this and separating both because uh, we need to know. When do we use, or what are the rules when, when we use verbs, common verbs, or the rest of the verbs that we know, and the way that we use the simple present tense when we use the verb to be? Because the, those are pretty different if we see each uh, other in, in a way that the individual, right? So let's start with simple present tense with verbs, with the rest of the verbs that are not the verb to be. Okay, let's start. When we're talking about simple present tense, past, uh, simple past tense, or future simple tense, uh, we are going to identify three different forms of writing a sentence. Three different forms of writing um, a sentence. So what are those? Uh, let's check this information. The first one is the ones that we call affirmative sentence, okay? So we want to write it down here. We want to set affirmative, affirmative sentence. When I say sentences in plural, is we're going to review some examples here. Okay. So affirmative sentences. Um, how do we form a simple present tense using um, affirmative sentences? The first thing that we need to identify in English is that all sentences in English needs a subject. Probably you know this, right? So I'm gonna say that sentences are formed with its subject. Sentences are formed using its subject, okay? 
after the subject, we are going to use a verb. This is like a formula um, in order to create sentences. Okay, if you want, you can take notes. It's gonna be helpful for you in the future. Okay, the first thing is subject. Then we're going to use a verb. In the third part of this uh, affirmative sentence, it's going to be a compliment or sometimes called uh, the object of the sentence. I'm gonna write down here compliment. It's just a compliment. It's an extra information that we use for a, providing information in simple present tense. Okay. So subjects. What are subjects? Do you know what are subjects? Subjects can be nouns or or what? You know that pronouns. Okay, pronouns, okay, pronouns, good. So subjects can be nouns or pronouns. So for instance, if we're talking about nouns, it can be like uh, common nouns, uh, like desk, like printer, like a uh, door, things like that, okay? Common nouns, or also we can use proper nouns, proper nouns like in the name of cities, like Osulutan, San Salvador, um, El Salvador, uh, Maria, Juan, uh, Peter, Joshua, so things like that. Th those are proper nouns, okay? So, but also we can use the pronouns. The pronouns are, uh, do you know the pronouns in English? So is anyone here wants to share the pronouns? Can you, can you please share with us the pronouns in English? Do you remember I, you, he, she, it, we, they, right? So those are pronouns. Um, let's let's take um, a look here, okay? Once we have identified what are uh, what is a subject, we're going to move on to the uses of verbs, okay? In, in the case of verbs, most, um, well, most, most common verbs are going to be uh, with the base forms. In th that's going to depend on, on this the subject that we're going to be using. So that's meaning the, the, the pronoun that we're going to be using or if we're using just one noun. Uh, let's just review this information. For instance, I wanna check here. Um, when I use this one, this color, um, it's going to be like, for instance, I, you know, these are just the pronoun. We're going to define two different categories. I you, we, and they. And also we're going to have she, she, he, he, it. We're going to divide this into different categories, okay? So the first one are the ones that we called the um, first person, okay? And third person plural. And second person too, because we're using you, okay? First person, second person, and third person plural. Okay, just listen, plural, because that we're going to review this information with the, the second um, this with the second uh, group, because in the second one, she, he, it are going to be called third person singular, okay? Third person singular. You know what happened when we use a third person singular? You know what happened with the verbs? For instance, if I use um, if I use the verb walk, walk. Okay. You know what happened if I use the same verb like walk? Third person singular. Yeah. What happened? Yes. We're going to add an S. Yes, that's correct. We're going to add an S. Um, if we use first person, second person, third person, plural, uh, the verb is going to be in the base form. So we don't have to do nothing here. But if we use third person like she, he, or it, we need to use an S. Okay, when I change uh, these two different, no, I guess it's not possible, let me. Um, it's gonna be possible if I do this, okay, for instance. 
like this. Okay, there you go. So um, we have identified that we use an S if we use she, he, and it. Okay. So um, then after using the correct form of the word, we are going to move on using a complement. Okay. Complement would be like, um, I walk my office. Okay, I walk to my office. When I use this example, I walk to my office. You walk to, in this case, want to change the, the, uh, the pronoun here for your office, okay? Because we're using yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So in case we use we, when I say we walk to our office, okay? If we're using they, we're going to say they walk to their office, okay? So it, that's going to depend the verb that we use. In the case of she, he, or it, so we can say like she walks to her office, uh, she will, I mean, he works to his office or it works to its office. So that's going to depend on, on, on the pronoun that we're going to be using uh, with this kind of sentences, okay? So let's uh, just uh, review some other examples. So for instance, we, instead of using to my office, I can going to delete this. I'm gonna write, for instance, I walk in the park. I'm gonna be better in the park. So something like that, right? I walk in the park. What to use period at the end? Remember, always use period at the end. I didn't use it, but you have to. Um, and we have a sentence there. Okay, that's the way we construct sentences, and that can happen with um, all different words. So this is for simple present tense with verbs, with the rest of verbs that are not the verb to be. Oh, but what happened when we use the verb to be? So let's review this information. If we have, for instance, um, a simple present tense with verb to be, so the things are going to be different because um, with the verb to be, we're going to use always subject because subject is necessary for every sentence that we're going to create in English. Subject is mandatory, it, just for some sections, right? But subjects are mandatory. Um, so once we have the subject, we have to identify the verb or the form of the verb to be that we're going to be using. It. And then we're going to use the complement. Okay, let's let's try to move this to this part. Okay, there. There you have. This is going to be our second uh, our second uh, formula. I'm gonna copy this. This is not, I'm going to move on this part here because the same like affirmative sentences, you know, um, I'm gonna write it down here. Okay, there you have affirmative sentence. Um, this is the formula for simple present tense with verb to be. We're going to use a subject, we're going to use the verb to be, and we're going to use the complement. So here things are going to be different because um, if we use a subject uh, as a subject um, in a specific pronoun, we're going to use an, a specific form of the verb to be. So, you know, probably uh, the conjugations of um, each pronoun. For instance, if I use I, so that means they're gonna be using um, right? If I use you, we're going to be using are but the same is going to happen if I use uh well not not the same so what I mean is uh, is yes okay is what I mean is the, the form of the verb to be so when I use he this is going to be like is to yes. and it's going to happen with it okay it yes. also with you we're going to be using 
R. Same is going to happen with they. So when I'm using R and in, at the end, do again. If this is for pro. R. So there you have. Let me we. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes, this is going to be, this is has to be we. No, you. Okay, there we have. My apologies. Okay, there, there you have subject as the verb to be. In English, um, well, in, in this case, in simple present tense in English, um, there are three different forms of the verb to be. Am, um, is, and are. Those are the three different forms of the verb to be. So if we use H1 uh, with the specific uh, pronoun, so it's going to be K, okay, uh, and we're going to have a sentence there just with the, the subject plus the verb to be. Um, it's necessary sometimes to include a, um, a complement. For instance, uh, you can say like, she is a doctor. I'm gonna say doctor. Yes. This is a simple, simple um, I mean, simple um, example there. She is a doctor, he is a doctor, I am a doctor, and you know the rest, right? So this is like the conjugations that we're gonna be using for simple present tense with the verb to be. So is it clear? Uh, do you want me to switch to Spanish just to explain a little bit the mm -hmm. difference between each one? Yes? No? Is it clear? So thumbs up if everything is clear. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. This is thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay? Use this emoji here. You know? Thumbs up. If everything is clear, just thumbs up. Good. I'm just checking here. Some of you, okay. Some of you are using the emoji. Good. Cool. Okay. Cool. So, guys, um, this is like the affirmative um, form. Okay. This is affirmative sentences. Affirmative sentences. Uh, if you want, just take an screenshot so to the information because I'm going to de delete all the information related to the affirmative sentences because we're going to move on to the negative sentences, okay? The negative sentences. Uh, so take an screenshot, I don't know, you decide. Take notes if you want. If not, it's okay too. So... Uh, let's clear all drawings here. Want to erase this information? These two, these two, and also this one, this one. We don't need either this one. Okay. Oh, this two. So let's move on to the negative form. Okay. Wanna write it down here. Wanna say negative. Negative using green. So I'm gonna change it for the red one. That's this negative. Negative sentences. So I'm gonna use the same here. Negative sentences. So there we have negative sentence with simple present tense with rest of Burton. The ones that we're gonna be using with the verb to be. Let's start with uh, the the words. Okay. Um, if we're going to construct a sentence using negative sentence, that means that we're going to be using an auxiliary verb. Uh, this happen with negative sentence and also happen with interrogative sentences. Um, so it's mandatory, as you know use the subject as always subject is mandatory on all sentences okay um after the subject it is the like like the key for constructing sentences using negative form i mean negative form um when i use the subject then we're going to use the auxiliary this is going to be uh, this is going to have two different forms first one's going to be do and the second one is going to be does. You know the difference between using do or does? 
What is the difference between using do or does? When do we use do and when do we use does? Does is for singular. I mean, do is for singular and does is for uh, for third person. Third person. Okay. Um, they kind of it's it's a good answer, but um, I just need to clarify to, uh, the, that point. Okay. Because do is used for third person, second person, and third person plural. Okay. Good. So you were right. We use it for plural pronouns too. Uh, third person plural uh, pronouns. <clears throat> and thus it is used just for third person singular. Okay. Third person singular. <clears throat> Let's um, review some extra information. So after using um, do or does, so depending on the subject, we're going to be uh, adding the verb, the main verb. When I call it main verb, okay, that's the way main verb. I'm not gonna say main verb, just as it is. Okay, then we're going to use a complement. Okay, so we have, this is going to be our formula for writing um, or creating sentences using negative, um, negative form, okay? Subject, do, does, main verb, and complement. Can you get me an example using um, negative statement? If you want to short um, an answer, please do it using the, the sum chat. Use the sum, sum chat here, and I say here, here. So, you know, um, write or type down the earth um, an example using negative sentence, okay? Do it there. Write a sentence using negative form. Just one sentence, just one. We're going to use that sentence as an example here. Okay, I'm waiting for it. This is coming. Okay, there we have, yes. Uh, so we have the first one. I don't walk in the park. So let's copy and paste this. I use the different different apostrophe. Okay, I don't walk in the park. There you have. So if we separate each word, I'm gonna say like going to be like um, this. Oh, something! Oh my God, I was forgetting something that is so important. So and and I didn't realize. Uh, once I saw this, this example. Uh, we're using do or does, but uh, if you know here in, in this uh, formula, we're missing the advert not, okay? So I, I didn't realize that. <laughs> My apologies for that. Okay, we need to use not. I'm gonna write it down there with capital letters, okay? Not. Because we're using negative sentences. Ah, nobody, nobody, Mention that. Why did you mention that? Okay. So, is it important because it's negative sentence? Okay. So when I be using don't, uh, when I move on to the example here, we're going to separate each one. We said that. And what's going to be or bird and in the part is going to be a compliment. Okay. So there we have. Uh, the subject I we have don't. This happen when we create or we join two different words. In, in this case. Uh, do plus not or does plus not. So is it possible to use, for instance, I'm gonna write it down here. Is it possible to use do plus not gonna be equal to, to done? Okay. Done, okay. And if we use does plus not, it's going to be doesn't. It's going to be equal to doesn't. Like this. 
Okay. So there you have this. D plus not equal to you don't. Does plus not, is it possible to say like doesn't? You know, um, this is this is just an information that we need to, to manage in order to identify. Uh, when do we use negatives and what, when do we use, well, you know, primitive sentences? So then we have, um, we have to use the subjects. So in case if it is uh, first person, when I use do or don't, uh, plus not, so, you know, do plus plus not, so gonna be don't. Um, the main words going to be walk and complement just in the park. Those elements are the ones that we include in negative sentences. So if we write down here, for instance, we can say like, um, you, you don't. Okay, I'm gonna do it in this way. I'm going to write I, you, we, and they, going to be, oh, also you, going to be using the auxiliary bird don't okay in this way if we use she you know he or it is it going to be doesn't like this okay there you have um are you with a and you again because it's plural when I be using don't. If we're using she, he, or it's going to be using, uh, we're going to be using doesn't because that corresponds to a third uh, person word, okay? So the the main word, it will be light. The ones, so the ones that we have been using in the first activity. So you decide which one, one I use, that's going to depend on the purpose for expressing or saying or sharing information. Uh, we're using walk as an example and as a complement in the park, okay? This is negative sentences. Okay, let's move on with negative sentences, but in this case, using the verb to be. Okay, so you know, subject is mandatory. Thus, in this case, is going to be the verb to be. So one of the three different forms that are is um, are. So one of those plus, you know, not because it's negative, any complement. Period at the end. Let's take it out if we can. Okay, there you have. So, you know, this is good. I'm gonna I guess gonna move on this. Uh, no, I'm going to move it to, to, to this right. I mean, to the left there. This one too. Okay, there we have um, subject plus verb to be. This will be like um, is um, are plus not plus a complement. Good. So, um, and the subjects are going to be, for instance, if I use you, uh, we have to use, you know, are plus not plus a complement. It'd be like, I'm not a doctor. Okay. You're not a doctor. You are not a doctor. So, um, if you notice here, negative sentences, it's, it's easy. It's like the easiest one because um, we're we're not using auxiliary verbs. We're just using the verb to be. When we use the auxiliary, I mean, when we use the the verb to be, we don't need auxiliary um, auxiliary verbs. So, if we use the verb to be, we don't need auxiliary verbs. Um, just with the verb to be, we can create sentences in simple present tense, okay? So, um, for instance, you, we can say like, I am not um, a, a student, okay? They are not, a, you know, teachers or so, you know, different sentences that we can create using the verb to be, okay? 
So um, now, what? Uh, well, we get to uh, work in an activity. I guess it's going to be just for affirmative negative sentences. We're going to check uh, later, probably tomorrow, how we can construct sentences using interrogative form. Um, so right now we're going to move on to an activity. So let me, so I don't know, please take a screenshot, take uh, notes. I don't know what you're doing, but uh, this information is necessary to complete uh, the exercises that we're gonna be working right now, okay? So you decide. Um, once you take an inscription, uh, I mean, an screenshot, take notes there. Let me get all these. Yes, gonna be have an activity here. Okay, I'm gonna share to you. <clears throat> I'm going to share to you a link. Um, the link is going to be in Sunshot. So here you have. Go there to in, in complete that exercise. Is in agenda web dot uh, org. So it's an exercise there um, that you need to complete, and it's related to the use of um, simple present tense. In affirmative sentences and also negative sentences. Okay, so complete. Uh, once you complete this activity, um, I'm gonna share the second one. Um, let me just take a look. Uh, guess we have time. If we don't have time, it's gonna be like for your homework. Okay, but in case we don't have time, we had seven minutes. Try to complete the first one. Once you finish the same, the same, uh, the same exercise, like, like the ones that we did, like. Uh, in the previous, in the previous one. So take a screenshot and send it to WhatsApp. Okay. Once you finish, we have guess seven minutes uh, at least to complete the first one. If you have any questions, you can let me know, okay? If you have questions, please tell me. And I will be answering all your doubts, okay? Okay, and you can hear it. Um, there are some people that didn't turn on their cameras. Remember, um, in classes, we need to open our cameras. And seeing Elisa, eh, Noe, Omar, Wendy, Fatima, Sandra, Jocelyn, Ever. Remember, you need to, eh, okay, open your cameras. Um, I'm gonna take in a screenshot later of this class. Yes, see if it is possible. Is it possible? Yes. Let 
gonna stop sharing. I'm gonna stop sharing and I'm going to take a screenshot. Please open your cameras because I'm going to take a screenshot. Okay, open your cameras, open your cameras. Okay, there, smile. Okay, smile, because I'm going to take a screenshot. Okay, oh, ready. <laughs> Great. Excellent. Good. Some of you have completed the exercise. Cindy um, Ramirez. She got 90, the other ones got 100%, 70%, that's our good scores. 85%, good, excellent. So you have good scores, you have good scores. Wanna check? Um, Patricia, Vicky, okay, 100%, excellent. Excellent. So, good scores, yes. Okay, excellent guys. Well, um, you know, this is like the end of, uh, this class gonna you're gonna have an extra activity i'm going to share later to you using the whatsapp group okay so um don't worry um so this is the end of the class i don't know if you have any questions related to the topic that we discussed do you have questions questions do you have any questions you can do it in spanish don't don't be afraid it, it doesn't matter so if you do it in spanish it's okay too questions if you have any question, this is the right moment to share with us. Hola, hola. Okay, Omar. Fíjese que eh, ayer pasó un problema que yo me había registrado lo que es el módulo eh, un poco más, más, más profesional, ¿verdad? Entonces, pues, por el día de ayer me perdí lo que es eh, la clase, ¿verdad? Entonces, voy a, eh, a ponerme el día con con lo que es la plataforma, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. y, bueno. uh -huh. este, y por eso es que soy un poquito atrasado con respecto a la plataforma y pues los resultados también de, de los links que ha mandado usted por... por, bueno, por está bien. No se preocupe, Omar. Este, póngase al día. De hecho, tiene la opción, eh, cuando le enviaron la información para unirse a la, a la videoconferencia, este, usted también tenía la, la opción de poder ver las grabaciones de la clase. Eh, sí, si usted sí, se sí. va a, a, a la lista de YouTube, ahí puede ver la clase, ponerse al día. Realmente no hemos hecho mucho. Eh, ahorita solo hemos visto este, ciertas, um, ciertas lecciones de la plataforma. Como hoy estuvimos viendo la, la parte de los de Simple Present Statements, eh, que es el, el tema que tenemos ahí. No hemos avanzado mucho. Eh, los, trate de practicar un poquito este, el uso de los, de, del presente simple en inglés. Eh, tanto Vamos a ver. Un segundo. Bueno. Trate este de, de, de completar ahí o estar este, trabajando la parte del, del presente simple, tanto la forma afirmativa como la forma negativa. Puede buscar información en internet, hay bastante información relacionada a eso. Me puede preguntar a mí por chat privado, si gusto. Pues está, estoy disponible ahí para que me hagan sus preguntas también. Y yo con todo gusto les explico, ¿verdad? Este, okay. Así que no se preocupe. Apenas acabamos de, de comenzar el día de ayer y pues, ahorita este, prácticamente estamos iniciando, se puede decir. ¿Ok? No sí, se Muchas gracias. Bueno. ¿Alguien más? ¿Tienen preguntas, dudas, sugerencias? No. Yo, teacher, una pregunta. Sí, dime. 
eh, solamente quería saber, eh, creo que les, no sé si les había puesto unos ejercicios, no, no sé, plataforma, no sé, la verdad. Uh -huh. eh, eh, ahorita, eh, bueno, quería saber qué, qué plataforma es, pero como ayer yo no me pude conectar a la clase, no que hasta hoy me, me he conectado. Entonces, no sé si es que le dio alguna otra plataforma para hacer los ejercicios que usted le había dejado o, si, o no sé a dónde, a dónde sería. Vaya, Brian, este, ejercicios, el día de ayer no, no, no trabajamos ningún ejercicio, solo vimos generalidades de cómo se va a desarrollar el curso. Empezamos a ver la parte de la lección número uno, pero este, no, no hicimos mucho. Hoy este, que iniciamos la videoconferencia, sí les compartí un enlace. No sé si trabajó en la plataforma que se llama eh, Games to Learn English. No, no, no. No, no bueno, entonces eh, déjenme igual. compartirles, déjenme compartirles este, la, el módulo eh, sí. por medio de WhatsApp y de esa forma usted los puede trabajar. Eh, esos ejercicios, los ejercicios que yo les comparto son formativos este, y no infieren en la calificación que ustedes van a obtener al, al, al finalizar pues, el, el módulo. Simplemente es para que ustedes practiquen su vocabulario, este, eh, adquieran más vocabulario, eh, desarrollen también la parte de listening y, y si ustedes gustan, pues pueden ir practicando pronunciación eh, a medida que ustedes van avanzando en esos módulos formativos. Son, son ejercicios que yo les comparto para que ustedes este, eh, practiquen, simplemente eso no, no infieren en la calificación final los que sí infieren son um, los que vamos a desarrollar en la plataforma de inglés corporativo que es sí. la plataforma que ya les, les, les compartieron a ustedes los demás sí. solo son prácticos ok, okay. muchas gracias eh, les voy, ahí le voy a dejar el enlace en whatsapp este, una vez terminemos la videoconferencia ok, para que pueda trabajar okay. usted también eh, no okay. sé si alguien más tiene preguntas ¿No? Ok, bien. Entonces, este, ha llegado, pues, si ustedes, no sé, ¿alguien abrió el micrófono? Eh, vi que, bueno, no, al parecer no. Bien, ha llegado, pues, el final de esta clase. Eh, agradecerle la asistencia a todos ustedes y por haber tenido, pues, las cámaras este, abiertas. Recuerden que es un requisito, parte de inglés corporativo, de que siempre tengamos nuestras cámaras abiertas eh, para que cuando ellos eh, hagan inspecciones o verifiquen pues, asistencia eh, de ustedes, pues, ellos eh, los puedan eh, identificar con facilidad, ¿verdad? Así que eh, agradecerles la asistencia, cuídense mucho, nos vemos el día de mañana, siempre a la misma hora, 8 de la noche, de 8 a 9, eh, agenden en sus, en sus calendarios, ¿ok? Bien, feliz noche a todos. Have a nice night. To everyone, and see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Hi, good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, sir. Teacher, eh, una consultita nada más. <laughs> sí, dígame. Eh, eh, fíjese que en mi caso, eh, yo no puedo prácticamente nada. Entonces, mm -hmm. eh, la verdad es que yo lo que quiero es aprender bien. <ríe> okay. pero, pero la verdad es que si solo nos...